गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप ऑल आर फिट एंड फाइन आई एम बैक अगेन विद आर सेकेंड वीडियो इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन इंट्रोडक्शन टू आर फर्स्ट चैप्टर इंटीजर्स एंड ऑल्सो आई हैव एक्सप्लेन यू प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ इंटीजर्स फॉर एडिशन सब्ट्रैक्शन मल्टीप्लीकेशन एंड डिविजन दोज प्रॉपर्टीज वी विल बी यूजिंग फॉर सॉल्विंग दिस कंप्लीट चैप्टर इंटीजर्स ओके so uh, and in today's video we are going to solve exercise number 1 so before moving on to the exercise students be ready with your maths textbooks and notebooks open your textbooks take out exercise number 1 then we will be solving the questions okay students i hope you are ready so let's see exercise 1.1 question number 1 Following number line shows the temperature in degree Celsius at different places on a particular day. You can see one number line is given below this line, and in that number line, on that number line, a uh, few points are plotted, and also some places are written. Let's see. Then point number A. Observe this number line and write the temperature of the places marked on it. So you are asked to observe the number line. Same number line I have drawn here, students. Okay, so that I can explain you the points. Then we have to observe the number line and we have to write the temperature of the places marked on it. Okay, let's discuss. See the number line in your textbooks also. You can see. We'll start from zero. From zero to the right hand side, all the positive integers are there, and to the left hand side, we know all the negative integers are there. Okay, between zero to five, equal distance. Five to ten, again equal distance. Ten to fifteen, equal distance. Okay, students. After zero, what you are going to read this point as? Here, after zero, it is integer one. This point is showing integer two. Here, three. Here, four. Here, five. So. Here five is showing a play, uh, showing the place Shimla. So we got to know that the temperature of Shimla is how much? Five degree Celsius. Like this, you are going to observe the number line and you have to write the temperature near the places, students. Okay, come on. Now after five, this point we are going to count as six, seven. You have to say with me. Okay, this point will be called as eight, nine, ten. Okay, so here integer ten, then eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen. One more indication is there. Fourteen is indicating Uti. So students, the play, the temperature of Uti is fourteen degree Celsius. Then sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Here we got twenty. Then twenty one, and this is twenty two. So the temperature of Bangalore is twenty two degree Celsius. Clear? Okay. Then After zero here it is minus one here minus two and at minus two Sri Nagar is written so the temperature of Sri Nagar is minus two degree Celsius then students after minus two minus three minus four minus five minus six minus seven minus eight so Lahore Spiti is showing minus eight degree Celsius so the first point A point is clear to us students in A point you are asked to observe the number line and then to write the Temperature near the places. Okay, let's see second part, students. Point number B, we are going to see. So, question number B, students. What is the temperature difference between the hottest and the coldest place among the above? How you will identify the hottest and coldest place, students? You know that the number which has the greater value will be hottest, and the number which has lower value, okay, that will be coldest. so here we know that in comparison between hot uh, in comparison between positive and negative numbers positive number will always be greater so we are having three places uh, three positive places uti 14 degree celsius simla shimla 5 degree celsius bangalore 22 degree celsius so students which is the hottest place the place which has more temperature which has greater temperature is the hottest place so here the hottest place i have already written bangalore the temperature of bangalore here is 22 degree celsius students 22 degree celsius okay after this coldest place see negative points we are having shrinagar minus 2 degree celsius lahul spiti minus 8 degree celsius so the coldest place here is lahul spiti with minus 8 degree celsius we have to find the difference so 
22 degree Celsius minus 8 degree Celsius. Difference means what? Whenever difference what is given, you have to subtract students. So, 22 minus 8 will get 14 degree Celsius. One is uh, first integer is positive, second integer is negative. So, plus minus minus. Okay, fine. Then you have to see which number is greater. 22 is greater and it is a positive number. So, our answer is also a positive number. Okay. Then point number C students. Let's see point C. What is the temperature difference between Lahul Spiti and Srinagar? So, again students you have to tell the difference of temperature between Lahul Spiti and Srinagar. So, in your notebooks you are going to write Lahul Spiti. The temperature of Lahul Spiti you can see from here minus 8 degree Celsius. Temperature of Srinagar already written minus 2 degree Celsius. Then you have to find their different students. So, I will write minus 8 degree Celsius minus minus 2 degree Celsius. Is it looking okay? Is it looking fine? No. Both the minus signs are facing each other. So, in such case your negative integer should, should come in, in bracket. Now open the bracket. For opening the bracket, you have to club both of these signs. So minus 8 degree Celsius minus minus plus 2 degree Celsius. So now again one positive integer, one negative integer. So minus plus minus 8 minus 2 surely we are going to get 6 degree Celsius. And what about the sign? Which sign will come with 6? See which number is greater here? 8 is greater and it is a negative integer so in answer also you are going to put a negative sign so minus 6 degree celsius is the temperature difference between lahul spiti and srinagar okay students so for question number one last point we are going to see see students this last point has three parts in it so if you are getting such a long question na, no need of reading it just uh, in one line and solving we'll break the question into two three parts and then we are going to solve see can we say temperature of Srinagar and Shimla taken together? I will stop here. It is asking to take together what temperature of Srinagar and Shimla. For taking it together that means you have to add. So let's see students what is the temperature of See I have written temperature of Srinagar and Shimla taken together. What is the temperature of Srinagar? Minus 2 degree Celsius. Temperature of Shimla 5 degree Celsius. Okay. So, taken together. Na? So, we are take, we are adding it. So, minus plus, minus 2, minus 5, 3 degrees Celsius. 5 is the greater number students with positive sign, with plus sign. So, our answer will also be positive number. 3 degrees Celsius is the temperature difference between Srinagar and Shimla. Then, what is, and then, uh, then the next part of the question is, uh, can we say temperature of Srinagar and Shimla taken together? is less than the temperature at Shimla. So, what is the temperature at Shimla? 5 degrees Celsius. Now, you only tell is the temperature less than Shimla. Here it is 3 degrees Celsius and Shimla's temperature is 5 degrees Celsius. So, yes, temperature of Srinagar and Shimla taken together is less than the temperature of Shimla because 3 degrees Celsius is less than 5 degree Celsius. That's why our answer is yes. Clear students? Last part of this question is it also less than the temperature at Srinagar? So now both the temperatures we are going to compare with Srinagar's temperature. So Srinagar's temperature is how much? Minus 2 degrees Celsius and taking together Srinagar's and Shimla's um, temperature we are having 3 degrees Celsius. So you only tell which is greater, three, which is less 3 degrees Celsius or minus 2 degrees Celsius. Obviously, 3 degrees Celsius is a positive integer, so it will be greater. That's why, no, the temperature of Shimla is not less than the temperature of, sorry, the temperature of Srinagar is not less than the temperature of Srinagar and Shimla taken together. So, students, this is your first question. I hope it is clear to you. Now, question number two, students. In a quiz, positive marks are given for correct answers and negative marks are given for incorrect answers. So, if the answer is correct, we will get positive marks. If incorrect answer, then negative marking. If Jack's scores in 5 successive rounds were 25, minus 5, minus 10, 15 and 10, what was his total at the end? First, underline this word, five, this, line, and this uh, word, 5 successive rounds. Successive means one after the other, continuous, okay. So, in 5 continuous rounds, Jack scored these many 
marks what was his total at the end so how to give the total students whenever it is asking total you are going to add so see the steps second answer jack score in five successive round is equals to 25 minus 5 minus 10 15 and 10 his total score i have to give now so students look 25 plus minus 5 negative integer i have written in bracket students plus minus 10 again a negative integer means negative marks plus 15 plus 10 okay i have explained you associative property remember so that property you can use means all the five numbers you can't add together so you can form group groups and solve so here i am forming group of 15 and 10 so 15 plus 10 how much students 25 okay then let's solve the further part first take out the value from the bracket plus minus minus so 25 minus 5 again plus minus 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 10 see 25 plus minus minus 5 here also plus minus minus 10 and this plus 25 now again 25 minus 5 you will get 20 then minus plus minus 10 minus 25 how much uh, minus 10 plus 25 minus 25 minus 10 you are going to get 15 with sign i shall write with 15 minus or plus which is the greater number 25 and it is a positive number means with plus sign so here like this i am going to write students so 20 plus 15 how much is the final marking jack scored 35 marks in all i hope this answer is also clear to you students okay now let's see our next question question number three Question number 3. At Srinagar, temperature was minus 5 degrees Celsius on Monday and then it dropped by 2 degrees Celsius on Tuesday. Fine. On Monday, temperature is minus 5 degrees Celsius. On Tuesday, it is dropping by 2 degrees Celsius. Then, what was the temperature of Srinagar on Tuesday? Okay, students. First, we will solve this part of the question and then we will see the next line. Let's see. So, I have already written here the step. Srinagar's temperature on Monday. So on Monday it is minus 5 degree Celsius. Then uh, on Tuesday temperature dropped by 2 degree Celsius on Tuesday. Therefore temperature on Tuesday. So if the temperature on Monday is minus 5 degree Celsius students and on Tuesday it is dropping by 2 degree Celsius. So you are going to subtract it. So minus minus plus so 5 plus 2 7 degree celsius when same sign is there with two integers you have to put the same um, same sign in the answer also so here our answer is minus 7 degree celsius on monday temperature was minus 5 degree celsius on tuesday it dropped by 2 degree more so the temperature finally is minus 7 degree celsius on tuesday next part of the question students look into your textbooks on Wednesday, it rose by 4 degrees Celsius. Okay, it rose by 4 degrees Celsius. Remember, whenever there is drop, means it is decreasing, you have to denote it with minus sign. Whenever there is an increase or uh, as the temperature is rising here, you are going to denote it with plus sign. So, it rose by 4 degrees Celsius. That's why I have written on Wednesday, temperature rose by 4 degrees Celsius. You have to tell uh, what was the temperature on this day. Means on Wednesday, what is the temperature? On Tuesday, the temperature is minus 7 degree Celsius. On Wednesday, it rose by 4 degree Celsius. So, add now see minus plus minus. So, 7 minus 4, 3, 3 degree Celsius. Greater number is 7 with negative sign. So, an answer also I will put minus 3 degree Celsius. This much only students. Okay. Now, let's see question number 4. Look into your textbooks. A plane is flying at the height of 5000 meter above the sea level. Okay students, this I will explain you with one small uh, diagram. Suppose this is the sea level and a plane is fly, flying 5000 meters above the sea level. Then the next part of the question, at a particular point it is exactly above a submarine floating 1200 meter below the sea level. This is sea level. At the same point below a submarine is floating at the distance of 1200 meters. Okay, then uh, what is the vertical distance between them? You understand the vertical means like this straight. So this is the sea level 
below 1200 meter one submarine is floating above 5000 meter one plane is flying you have to tell the vertical distance between the plane and the submarine so what you are going to do plus or minus obviously to get get this difference you are going to add both the difference uh, both the distances so my answer will be 5000 meters plus 1200 meters so 0 0 0 plus 2 2 5 plus 1 6 6200 meters is the vertical distance between this airplane and the submarine okay now question number 5 we are going to see students Mohan deposited rupees 2000 in his bank account and withdraws rupees 1642 from it the next day. So Mohan is depositing 2000 in the bank and on the next day he is withdrawing 1642 rupees students. Then if withdrawal of amount from the account is represented by a negative integer when you are taking the amount from the bank it is known as withdrawing the amount okay when you are taking out when you are uh, taking back the amount which you have already deposited when you are taking out that amount that is known as withdrawal so here withdrawal is represented by a negative integer then how will you represent the amount deposited if withdrawal is represented by a negative integer how you are going to represent amount deposited obviously by a positive integer so students let's answer this part first amount deposited will be represented by a positive integer i hope it is clear okay it is denoted with the positive integer next part of the question students um, find the balance in mohan's account after the withdrawal so before the withdrawal amount had, amount mohan deposited was rupees uh, was rupees 2000 and the amount he withdrawn withdrawals is rupees 1642 so you have to subtract and get the answer 0 minus uh, 10 minus 2 8 9 9 minus 4 5 again 9 minus 6 3 okay so the amount which will be left will be 300 rupees 358 is the balance left in mohan's account so students this is it for today we have seen question number 1 to 5 from your first exercise exercise 1.1 if you have any doubt you can message me personally and then make your doubt clear students okay and what for what concept we have used simple concepts plus minus 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 plus minus those rules of addition and subtraction only we have seen in this first exercise and uh, for practice i am giving you some homework see homework solve these three questions your homework is that you have to solve all the three questions where you are going to solve these questions you are going to solve these questions in your rough copy students then uh, in the next video we will start with this homework only first we will discuss the homework you may you can match your answers uh, from the answers that i'll give and if your answers are correct then you can copy it in your fair copy otherwise whatever i uh, the answer which i'll be giving that you have to note okay students that's all for today thank you